What's up guys? This is the newly released Blue Eddy Elite 30 portable power station. It's got some really cool upgrades. So I want to give you guys a full breakdown, especially because it just came out, of what this thing can do, some of the features that it has. I'll also run some tests for you guys so you can see what it can actually power. And then I'll just give you guys my review on it at the end. So let's get in the video. All right, so first off, one thing you notice about this power station is it's really small. You know, for the power that it has, it's got a 288 watt battery capacity, but the power that it has, which I'll go over here in a little bit, it's pretty awesome that they're fitting it in this small of a power station. It only weighs about nine pounds, so super light. It's gonna be a great power station for camping, for taking with you on the go, and just for having for power outages, you know, for your basic items like, like your phone, laptop, things like that, cameras, and even bigger items like TVs and things like that as well. It is an LFP battery, lithium iron phosphate, which is awesome. That's what a lot of the big brands use now because it's one of the most reliable and safest batteries out there, and it's going to be able to last a long time. With this one in particular, Blue Eddy claims it has up to 3,000 plus battery life cycles, so you could use this thing every single day and it would last longer than 10 years which is pretty awesome, especially because most of us are not going to be using this every single day. So it should last even long, well over 10 years as well. But as you guys can see right here, it has a max AC output of 600 watts. So you have 600 watts of AC output right here. They're both 120 volt AC outputs right here. So you got two of those. You have two 15 watt USB A's and then you have two fast charging USB C's, which is super nice because a lot of power stations will just have one USB-C or they'll have two and maybe one of them are fast charging, but this has two fast charging ones. And this one in particular has 140 watts of output, which is pretty amazing for a USB-C. So it's gonna be able to charge your phone and devices very fast, which I think that is an awesome upgrade that they made right there. Something that is really cool about this as well is that along with that 600 watts, it also has what Blue Eddy calls their mighty lifting power or their surge. It can go up to 1500 watts, which is absolutely insane for a power station this small, you know, essentially that's pretty much enough power and surge to be able to power a full size refrigerator, which is pretty awesome for a power station this small. And then over here, you got your DC 12 volt, 10 amp output right here. And then you also have your solar input right here as well. So you can actually charge this up with solar panels and it has a 200 watt solar input. So you can actually charge this thing up with solar in about 2.2 hours which is pretty awesome, pretty fast, especially if you're camping, you know, you need to be charging up and have power every single day. You know, two hours is, is not long at all. That is awesome. And then you also have a 12 volt, eight amp DC output right here as well. And there's actually a bunch of different ways you can charge this, which is another cool upgrade that they made. There's up to like eight different charging methods you can have. Over here on the side, you have your AC input right here, which allows you to input up to 380 watts, and it's gonna allow you to charge this up in about 70 minutes. So that's also really fast, you know, an hour and 10 minutes to be able to charge this up to 100%, that is awesome. And then another cool feature too, is if you charge this with your car through this port right here, you can actually get up to 24 volts, and you can also charge it in about 2.2 hours, which is pretty amazing because normally when you charge, you know, a battery with the car, it takes a lot longer because there's not as much power, but if you get the charger that actually goes right into here, into the car and then into here, you can charge it in 2.2 hours with your car as well. And one other upgrade that they made as well is there's actually different charging modes that you can set as well. There was charging modes before, but now they actually added a custom mode as well. So you got your standard mode that's basically just normal charging that's gonna be good for your battery. You have a silent mode that's gonna take a little bit longer to charge. You have turbo mode that'll make it charge the fastest, but it's not as good for your battery. And then you also have a custom mode where you can actually adjust the amperage. This is where it gets new, which you can adjust the amperage basically to, to adjust how fast you wanna charge as well, which is a pretty cool feature they had as well. You know, I, I usually just keep it at standard or turbo, but there's those other modes as well, which is a pretty cool feature, you know, to be able to customize it depending on how you want. And in the app, it's also really nice because you can completely monitor the battery. You can see how much battery level it has. You can turn on the AC, DC power. You can see how many watts is being pulled. And then you can adjust pretty much all of your different settings. You can update the power station, everything through the app. So it's really nice that it's all organized and it's pretty easy to use as well. And something else that's really cool about this power station and is an upgrade is that it actually has, you know, it's standby consumption mode. So basically when it's not, when nothing's being plugged into it or when a device is not using power, it only uses 4.5 watts, which is super awesome because basically it hardly uses any power. It's gonna be able to keep the power station lasting a lot longer when it's not being used or when it's in standby mode. And with that being said, you know, they use the example with a CPAP machine or a breathing machine, you know, generally with in the, in the industry standard, you know, if you're, if you're charging a CPAP machine, you know, around this range of like 245, 280 Watts, it's going to be able to last about 6.5 hours. But with this device, you're going to be able to run a CPAP machine, that same CPAP machine for 12.3 hours. So basically twice as long because of that standby mode. So a lot of devices, you're going to be able to charge them a lot longer with this 
than you would a normal power station at this size. And basically they're able to do that with their next gen ultra cell technology. And so the battery cells inside here, you know, basically upgraded those and that's what allows it to be able to do that. And something else cool about it is that it does have UPS as well or uninterrupted power supply. And so it does have pass through power, which a lot of other power stations have as well. But this actually has a couple different modes that you can set, which I'll show you guys here. So in the app, as you can see, you have, you know, standard UPS mode that basically just 100% is taking power from the grid and then, um, you know, passing through the power station. You have PV priority UPS, which is basically with the solar panels. So you can set uh, and so it, so it chooses essentially when the sun's out, you can take power from the solar and then when not, it'll go to the grid. And then you have time control UPS where you can set different time limits and things like that of when it's pulling from the grid and discharging, things like that. And then you even have a customized mode now, which is an upgrade um, where you can actually set a custom mode and you can actually set, as you can see right here, um, you know, when it charges and things like that. And you can set um, just different parameters in here, which is pretty cool. You know, you can set, you can make it custom as well. So that's really cool. You know, a lot of power stations don't have that. They just have one UPS mode. And this one just gives you a lot more customization depending on how you want to use the pass-through power, which is a pretty cool upgrade they have, especially for a power station this small. And what's really cool about the pass-through power on this power station is the actual overall output actually goes up. And so with this one, when you're using pass-through power or UPS, you're actually going to be able to have up to 980 watts of output continuously, which is pretty awesome. So instead of, you know, the 600 watts, you're able to actually get out of it 980 watts of output when you have it plugged into the wall and then you plug something into here, which is pretty awesome. You know, you're going to be able to power more uh, when you're doing that. And it's able to switch over in 10 milliseconds, so super fast. So if the power were to go off and you had your TV plugged in here, you know, it wouldn't even like blink. You wouldn't even notice it. It would just continue running your device. But yeah, that's pretty much it on the power station itself. You have a handle on the top up there, you know, so you can easily move it around. And then on the side, you have your vents right here, here to keep it cool. And what's nice is this thing is super quiet. You know, you hardly notice it when it's on. All right, and then for this next test, I want to show you guys a 55 inch TV, just so you guys can see. I feel like this is a good example as well. If you were camping and you wanted to run a projector or something like that, you know, a projector is probably going to use less power than TV. But I'll show you guys right here, 55 inch TV, it's plugged in. We've got the AC power turned on. And now let's see the TV. <clears throat> Boom, look at that. TV turns on. So pretty awesome. Let's see how many watts it's pulling. Looks like it's pulling about 75 watts. So this is obviously dependent on your TV size and how many watts your TV pulls. But this one pulls about 75 watts right now, continuous power. And at 50% battery, you'd be able to run this for, as you can see, updated about 1.8 hours, so about two hours. So if you're at 100% battery, you could run this for about four hours, which is pretty awesome. You could watch two full movies with this. Um, or if it was a projector, you know, probably a lot longer than that as well. You could watch, you know, movies. Um, you could even plug in your Xbox into this thing and, you know, play Xbox and watch movies at the same time. So yeah, pretty awesome to see that little power station like that could run a TV. Um, and if you were camping, you know, a projector for a lot longer than that, which is awesome. So definitely passed that test. Pretty sweet. It's able to handle that. No problem at all. All right, and then for this next test, I want to show you guys something that has a little more power. I got this little blender right here. I got it plugged in and turn on the AC power. Let's see here and let's turn it on and see what happens. Here we go. As you guys can see, it's using about 190 to 200 watts or it was at 200, went down to 184. And look at that, it's able to power it pretty easily. No problem at all. I mean, it is a lot under 600 watts so it should be able to power no problem and it definitely does do that test so if you were camping you wanted to you know blend some fruit up or something make a smoothie you totally could with this or if the power is out you totally could all right so for the next test i want to show you guys something kind of cool so i have this toaster right here that actually uses more than the 600 watt output and you'll see right here that the overload protection will actually kick on and it won't be able to handle it after about 10 seconds so i have it plugged in ac power i'm going to turn this on and as you can see, it's using about 750 watts. And so it's more than the 600 watts. So it's running it for a little bit, it's still running it for about five, 10 seconds and boom, now it shut it off because it has that overload protection. And it, as you can see, the lights are flashing. And so it automatically stops it. So that way the power station doesn't, you know, overload itself and mess it up, which is pretty cool to see actually that it does that. But what's actually cool about this is like I said earlier is the power lifting mode on this or the surge can go way higher than that. It can actually go up to 1500 watts on the power lifting mode. And so now I'm gonna turn it on in the app, the power lifting mode. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna actually lower the voltage. So basically lower the heat. So it's gonna take a little bit longer to probably to toast your bread with this. But what it's gonna do is it's gonna actually be able to handle it now 
So let me show you. So I have the app right here and you go over here to settings, powerlifting mode, turn it on. And then as you guys can see now that icon shows up right here. Now there's like a little muscle right there and it shows up and that shows that the powerlifting mode is on. And now that that's on, now we'll see right here, I'll turn on the toaster again, boom. And now as you can see, now it's actually able to maintain the toaster under 600 watts. So it's at 590 watts now. And now it's able to handle the toaster. So now it'll able to, it'll be able to run the toaster, no problem at all, because it's going to be able to keep it under that, you know, 600 watt range, basically lowers the voltage. Um, so it will probably take a little bit longer for devices this big to power it, but it's pretty awesome because it's going to be able to handle those devices where you can actually do that. So there we go. As you can see, it's been longer than like 10 seconds now and it's still running it no problem at all. So that's a pretty awesome feature that it has. All right, so overall, as far as my review goes, this is an awesome power station. Um, that power lifting mode is is pretty sweet. You know, I feel like power stations at this size, you know, like the 200, 250, 300 watt range are not able to power toasters and things like that usually. And so it's really cool to see that this one actually has a specific, you know, like Blue Eddy, they have that specific power lifting mode, which you can set in the app and it allows it to, to know that it can lower that voltage or, or lower it so that way it can handle those devices that use more power. Um, and so, you know, a lot of other power stations I feel like don't have a specific mode for that. It just automatically kind of tries to do that. But then you don't really know if it's going to be able to or not. And so I think it's really cool that it has a specific power lifting mode and up to 1500 watts for a power station this small is actually pretty insane. And running that test was awesome to see as well that it was able to keep it basically right underneath 600 watts. Like it was at 590 watts, which is pretty awesome. I do really like that it has two USB-Cs, so you can fast charge two devices at once. I will say to be able to get that 140 you know, watts of actual output into your device, you will need a specific you know, USB-C cable to be able to handle that. Otherwise, it's just gonna output you know, however much your, your cable can handle, but it is really cool to see that it has that. You, know, you can charge so many different devices with this thing, and it only weighs about nine pounds, so an awesome power station in my opinion. It basically has the power of a bigger power station because of that power lifting mode but in a smaller one like this so really cool for camping especially if you want to power those portable camping devices that use a little bit more power um, you can use that power lifting mode and you're going to be able to use it which is awesome while camping like super cool but you're going to have the portability of a power station that only weighs nine pounds so awesome power station in my opinion if you guys are looking for a more portable option like this but that can still handle some pretty you know big items stuff like that definitely recommend checking it out Awesome option in my opinion.